Thanks, Chief. Philo Leadership Planning has commenced for the first of eight courses to be scheduled across CFA. The courses will be delivered by Jamie McKenzie from Red Flag Leadership with the assistance of selected volunteers and staff from previous Philoine courses. Each course will comprise of two full weekends and 24 participants per course. Dates are being set for November with more courses scheduled in 2025 during March, April, May and June. Members will be selected in conjunction with their operational leadership pathway initially, including the roles of crew leader and strike team leader, as we will have a focus on new and current leaders within these roles. This sees the return of an exciting leadership program designed at developing our current and future leaders. CFA has recently launched our new online instructor availability tool, which is designed to streamline the scheduling of training and enhance communication within our learning development teams. Through the use of the tool, we aim to bridge the gap between instructor schedules and training needs, offering a more organised and responsive approach to planning. Volunteer instructors can input their availability using the tool to support the scheduling of training sessions, workshops and other learning activities. The interface is intuitive, allowing instructors to easily update their availability, preferred times for delivering training and any periods they are unavailable. This will allow us better to manage our training calendar, especially last minute changes, ensuring a smoother experience for both instructors, L&D teams, and ultimately our members. CFA has implemented language, literacy, and numeracy activities for all new operational and non-operational members. This initiative allows us to establish support requirements for our members. These activities are undertaken to make sure that all learners have the necessary language, literacy, and numeracy skills to get the most out of their training and personal development. This requirement aligns with CFA's role as a registered trading organisation to ensure successful participation and benefit from the training programs. Every new operational and non-operational member will need to complete three modules at the end of the volunteer recruitment process before they can move on to their general firefighter training units or for the non-operational members' attendance for any other courses. Existing members are currently not required to complete the activities. However, the modules are available to all members on the Learning Hub we strongly encourage those who may require support to successfully complete training to participate. The activity will automatically be included as part of the member induction and will be undertaken prior to enrolment in GFF version two. The outcomes from these activities will support our training instructors to better understand an individual's needs and ensure they receive the best possible support and resources to complete their training successfully. Significant work has been undertaken in the Learning Hub to improve privacy and access for members. This includes a new Brigade training profile from which Brigades can create and manage training and the alignment of the Learning Hub catalogue with the new training pathway. This functionality will be live in the system shortly, so watch for news items letting you know when to expect it. I'd also like to provide an update uh, on GFF as we continue to transition from version 1 of our General Firefighter package to version 2. A reminder that no courses utilising the version 1 content can be scheduled after October 1st this year. Courses that have commenced utilising version 1 content uh, prior to this date can continue up until the end of March 2025. We have allowed this time as a teach out period to ensure the successful transition to the new package. All GFF courses that commence after the 1st of October will be version 2. I'm also pleased to inform you that GFF version 2 satchels have arrived and are available for our instructors. Learner satchels will be sent to individuals upon sign up to the course as per normal. Finally, I'd like to invite all members to celebrate 40 years of service of our Wangaratta Training Campus, which is the oldest of eight training campuses managed by CFA across the state. To celebrate, we'll be having an open day at the campus on Saturday the 5th of October from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. During the day, we'll be welcoming members with their families and friends to witness hot fire demonstrations, historical vehicle displays and demonstrations, a tour of the grounds and pad area, and also a barbecue lunch. I'd also like to acknowledge pad supervisor Richie Gardner and his team of dedicated pad operators. Uh, Richie has managed the campus for more than 20 years, ensuring the quality training for our members across the Northeast region and many additional parts of the state. I look forward to celebrating this milestone with our members should you wish to attend, please RSVP via the QR code on the screen. We look forward to another busy month in the training team and providing more updates on the next volunteer forum. Back to you, Chief.